past month, I've been just applying to different jobs. I actually have the interview right at 3.30. It is 2.16 right now, so I kind of have to hurry up and get ready. It's not too far from my apartment. Today, I'm pretty much just going to be giving you guys some helpful tips on how to have a good interview, what to expect going into it. The internship that I have now, it was a little bit different. They asked more about like team leading questions and what I'm experienced in with Excel and just that type of stuff because it is for a different type of company. Today, I really don't think they'll ask me those questions. I do have a list of questions that previous employees have been asked at this company. So I'm just gonna go over those while I get ready. Hopefully I can be in and out because I want to get there maybe 10 minutes early. I would say one thing about interviews, always show up at least 10 minutes early. Also when you go, just be yourself. I would say that's the biggest thing going into it and just answer all the questions to the best of your ability, which is what I'm going to try and do today. I'm also going to be filming after I leave the place and let you guys know what exactly they asked me in this type of company. And I'm going to tell y'all how I answered each one. I'm going to start getting ready while I show you guys these questions. So like always, I sh literally straighten my hair everywhere I go. It's pretty much the only hairstyle I do besides like braids or buns something like that i don't even remember the last time i curled my hair i gotta get my hair done like i don't know what i want to do with it because i kind of want highlights but i also want to go darker so i literally just i'm so indecisive so that's why i'm just like holding it off also i'm trying to save my money but okay so while that gets ready also i am not going to be wearing this to the interview this is just what i put on whenever i got home from work today i like to dress comfy when i'm at home i will show y'all what i'm gonna be wearing and i'm gonna talk to y'all about whether you're a girl or a boy what is kind of the appropriate thing to wear in an interview sorry if my hair is looking crazy i'm like straightening it and like telling you guys questions at the same time but one of the things that is crazy but it's also a good thing about interviews is you can actually look up your company that you're interviewing for and say interview questions and answers for so and so this company nine times out of the ten there will be websites i think the one i'm on now it's called the career expert these questions will pop up with the same exact company and then also answers that you might not know how to answer some of the questions to so it's really helpful in my opinion one of the most popular questions that is always asked in an interview hands down is tell me about yourself this question i feel like people already have like that anxiety build up when it's like tell me about yourself because you obviously know everything about yourself but they don't know anything about you going into the job and this question helps them know more about you as a person one of the best pieces of advice i could give even before looking at this answer right here that they have is the first thing you want to do is say your name and then give your background whether it be education and especially if your work background relates to the job you're applying for now that's so so important make sure you add your interest and your skills that you had in that previous job and apply it to the one you're actually going to now for me if when i walk in and they're and they say hopefully they say tell me about yourself if they do i'll just say my name's katherine i moved here from middle tennessee state university as an undergraduate i did three years there and then i transferred here to so and so for college for my senior year i have about a year and a half of school left my major is contract acquisition management um and then also add why you have that if you're not in college that's perfectly fine but make sure you're adding your interest so for me mine would be my major so i would say i'm going into contract management management because i have always loved the idea of doing legal contracting and then I think for me, I would probably talk about how my skill sets for my job right now, which as a summer internship, could be applied to the job I'm applying for now. You know, it may seem like a little bit of a stretch, a little bit of a long answer, but it's good to give yourself at least a one minute answer. You don't want to be talking for five minutes for each question that's asked. That's like the last thing you want to do because they have a list of questions that they're trying to ask you and that is so important don't talk too long just be 
brief and to the point. So another question they're most likely gonna ask is, and if you haven't, it's okay to say no, but make sure, like I said in the first one, make sure you apply your skill sets that you've had in your previous jobs to the ones that you know will be useful to the job you're applying for now. The person interviewing you for a company, and this goes with any company, really only cares about if you're a team leader, a team player, you get to work on time, you have good responsibilities. So another question that they might ask you is, how do you think your previous work experience would translate into this position? I'm gonna read some of the answers that they have on here. They said, in my previous position, where my days consisted of many tasks, for example, I was responsible for making the weekly schedule for 12 employees handling customer complaints. These responsibilities required problem solving, delegation, and communication skills. Obviously, that's a great answer. As long as you can tie in your tasks that you have done in your previous work to what you're doing now or what you're interviewing for now, you're pretty much just gonna hit the nail on the head because that's what they wanna hear. They wanna know, can you do what we're asking you to do? and can you do the job description? That is some of the questions and answers I have for you guys today. I hope it helped. Um, I'm gonna get ready now. Hopefully my interview goes well. It is 2.40 now, so I kinda have to start hurrying. It's not until 3.30, but I do wanna get there a little early and figure out what I'm gonna wear. Okay, so I just finished doing my hair and my makeup. I'm about to change now. I really don't know what I'm gonna wear I'm probably going to just wear the top I wore to work today and then maybe just some like beige pants just something simple because I don't want to be too dressy but I don't want to be like too underdressed like this so yeah I'm just going to figure out what I'm gonna wear and then I will show y'all whenever I get it on okay so this is pretty much what i'm going to be wearing sorry if my bedroom is messy i haven't had the time to clean it but right now i'm pretty much just wearing a beige top with these beige pants and then i'm just gonna wear some regular shoes with them i'm about to go get a small snack from my fridge because i literally have not eaten all day and i'm like starving so i'm gonna go eat real quick and then I will probably just vlog either whenever I get in the car or whenever I finish with my interview and just tell you guys how it went. It has actually been, I think, two days since I had my interview. I thought I was recording whenever I got back in the car, but either, I don't know. I, I guess it just didn't record. And when I tried editing the video, I just didn't see the video on there. So I'm, I'm just going to redo what I said in the car, basically. But pretty much when I went in there, they were super nice. It was a very laid back, chill environment. I didn't really feel under pressure at all whenever I did my interview. Pretty much all of the questions that I went over, he asked me in the interview. And I think the only thing that I really didn't go over with you guys was he gave me a lot of like, give me example questions. So like, he would say, give me an example of a time you helped a team member out. And so, like I said, you can go back on that website and just click the company you want to apply for and they will literally have a list of questions and answers that they are probably most likely gonna ask you in that interview. So you'll just be more prepared. But yeah, that's pretty much how it went, guys. I hope this video kind of helped y'all if you are going through an interview or if you're in the process of doing that now. Oh, also, I didn't even tell y'all, I got the job. Probably should have started with that. But yeah, so after I finished with the interview, he said we are gonna offer you a job offer, which is literally crazy because I thought it would take them a few days. So I guess that's a good sign if you get the job right when the interview is over. I think that means you did really good in the interview. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. If y'all have any other types of recommendations on videos like this I should do, just let me know in the comments below. But don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one.